Today I'm going to show you three ways to approach soloing on John Mayer's amazing song, I Guess I Just Feel Like. This song is infamous for his viral solo that's on YouTube. But today, I'm gonna show you how to approach it so that you can develop your own sound and ideas over the tune. Let's jump in. I Guess I Just Feel Like is a three chord song. B, A, and E. And upon first glance, you might think that it's in the key of E major. And yes, the notes are from the key of E major, however, B is very clearly the home here. It's the first chord. So if you count up the notes of the E major scale, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, B is the five, that's five, four, one. But since the chord progression starts on B, our ear hears the home as B, and it's actually in B mixolydian. So without getting too deep into music theory, the reason I mention this is because it's going to guide our scale decisions entirely. So if you play like you're in the key of E major and land on an E a bunch, you will absolutely sound bad. Okay, so now that we know that we are in B mixolydian, mixolydian is a major mode. So that means that we're gonna start with a B major pentatonic scale, major mode, play the major pentatonic. But why? Well, pentatonic is awesome, and it's also the safest. So stage one, let's go ahead and use the classic pentatonic box with our pinky on the B note. So if your pointer were on the B, it would be a B minor pentatonic scale. If your pinky is on the B, it's gonna be a B major pentatonic scale. So there's B at the seventh fret, and that gives us Now, it's important to realize, you hear a lot of people complain about the pentatonic boxes. It's not the scale's fault if you sound bad. This is a great box that's gonna sound awesome, but you have to do important things to it, including slides, hammer-ons, pull-offs, bends, and vibrato. Let's check it out. nothing wrong with any of the sounds that I made. And the things that really helped it to sound better are just working on trying to slide between the notes of the scale. Hammer-ons. Pull-offs. And, you know, definitely really being tuned into the groove and knowing where the rhythm is, where you're kind of feeling that one, two, three, and four. So as you've seen, if you decorate that box, that B major pentatonic box, you're gonna be able to sound really good. However, pentatonic is even better when it's in its diagonal form. So let's go ahead and jump across three octaves of the scale using this form. So all I had to do there was use a three note set starting on B at the seventh fret of the E string. That's gonna go three, two, three, two, three, and two. It's just that alternating three, two pattern and you just have to watch out for the B string. Let's hear how this sounds. Notice I get sliding, hammering on right away. sounds absolutely awesome and the diagonal allows me to be a little bit more melodic because I can get more slides and kind of those nuances in there. Now one cool thing is we can even insert the blue note in the diagonal major pentatonic. So the notes of the major pentatonic are just going to be one, two, three, five, and six. And that just repeats across the fretboard. So if we want to add the blue note for the diagonal major pentatonic, all we have to do is add in the flatted third. 
So if that's one, two, three, five, six, in between our two and three, we'll have that flat at third. Now you don't necessarily want to land on it too heavy, but you can decorate with it, slide through it. It just sounds absolutely awesome. Now because this song is in Mixolydian, we actually can play the minor pentatonic over it as well. The cool thing about Mixolydian is Mixolydian is really the sound of the blues. And when early blues musicians started playing, they were playing the sound of the minor pentatonic over this kind of Mixolydian sound. Now I'll skip the classic box at the seventh fret because you all know that really well. And instead, let's use the diagonal in B minor. Okay, so I'm gonna play five, seven, five, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, 11. Gotta shift up a fret, 10, 12, and then 10, 12, 14. Now it's gonna sound really bluesy, but it's gonna sound pretty great. Only note that I would kind of avoid landing on is the E note. Let's check it out. It's absolutely awesome, but as I said, it sounds very bluesy. So you might want to kind of blend the two together. Play a little bit of major pentatonic, then play a little bit of minor pentatonic after. It kind of ends up sounding like a call and response with yourself. Major. Minor. Major. Minor. If you're enjoying this lesson and you are really enjoying the amazing flexibility of the diagonal pentatonic scale, I wanted to let you know that I have a full course on diagonal pentatonic that teaches you this simple system to play across the entire guitar neck. Tons of musical practice exercises, tons of killer backing tracks, and even diagonal pentatonic licks by myself and some other great guitarists. So go ahead and use the code CONNECT and I'll give you 40% off for watching this video. Go ahead and click that link below. Finally, level number three. Let's go ahead and play some of this Mixolydian scale. So here's the neat thing. We're gonna rewind a little bit and we're gonna take our classic box that we played earlier in B major pentatonic. And the really awesome thing about this scale is this is five out of the seven notes of the Mixolydian scale. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add those other two notes back in. Now if you know your cage system shapes, you'll notice that this is a common one. So people would maybe call this the cage system C shape in the key of E. Now, as I said earlier, we're gonna play this scale and it's gonna sound really good, but you want to avoid landing really strongly on the E note. So the way that I like to approach the modes is that I start with the pentatonic and then I try to just add in those extra notes of the modes as a flavor. It really works because the pentatonic is super safe and the other two notes just add some fresh color. Dickie Betts. And don't forget, you can 
can also take that shape and just shift it up 12 frets. Get some practice up in this register as well. You'd be playing uh, starting at the 16th fret. Notice I don't start on the fat strings first. Now that you've learned three approaches to soloing on I Guess I Just Feel Like, watch this video next to transform your solos with these proven phrasing strategies.